taco seasonings at our store come in these little size packages. Oh boy. Old El Paso, one package. 1920 milligrams of sodium. McCormick's has one that says 30% less sodium. Mm hmm. It's got 1500. Mrs. Dash has one that's zero. For some reason, I'm just not real fond of it. All these little packages have thickening agents in them, either cornstarch or potato starch. I don't put any in mine because I like the flavor. If I want it to be thicker, then I can always add that. Sometimes we have to do a little thinking ahead of time. Our taco seasoning needs chili powder, but we know we can't use store-bought because it's got 240 milligrams for a tablespoon. Just skip on over to the chili powder blend video lecture. Make that first. I generally double the recipe because I use quite a bit of it. But I make it in an airtight container. I just got it whenever I need it. My recipe calls for three tablespoons of our homemade chili powder blend. It has 14.07 milligrams of sodium in three tablespoons. That's what we need. Three tablespoons. We need three quarters of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And depending on which side you look at, it's either going to have zero or one. Cumin. Four teaspoons has 16 milligrams of sodium. Black pepper. Half a teaspoon has none. Onion powder. One and a half teaspoons has three. And garlic powder. One and a half teaspoons has three. I need to buy more oregano. I just use mine. One and a half teaspoons has one milligram. Paprika. One and a half teaspoons has 2.5 or 1. Depends on what size you look at. Mix all of these things up. Put them in my container and shake it before I use it because the fine stuff settles down to the bottom. 20 teaspoons of our blend has 39.57 milligrams of sodium. If you like a mild taco seasoning, you can decrease or omit the cayenne pepper and the black pepper. You have the recipe for taco seasoning in your download available for this lecture.